I now pan the camera around towards the south end of the Never Summer Range. What you see before you is a beautiful, classic, U-shaped but unnamed glacier sculpted sub-valley that was probably filled to the brim with ice and snow about 20,000 years ago. You can see Baker Mountain off to the left side, along with Mount Stratus at the end of the valley. That road you're seeing now and in the future is the Grand Ditch Water Diversion Project. I'll talk more about that later though. I'll now start a 70 second 500 degree camera pan or yaw rotation to show you as much of the Route National Forest area as possible. We'll perform this maneuver while we're on the west side of the Never Summer Range and we'll end up being pointed southeast, which is about the direction we're pointed in now. Coming up shortly on screen right will be Parika Lake and Parika Peak will be above it and we're going over the Continental Divide at Baker Pass right about now. We'll be looking down into several fairly remote mountain valleys. Those are the Bear Paw Peaks coming into view screen center, and Mount Cindy will come into view along the ridge. There is some hiking that can be done in this area, but getting access to it is accomplished via some rather rough forest service roads. I would not recommend bringing your two-wheel drive car up here. The hiking trails in this area are probably pretty rough, I think they're more akin to forest service trails than they are dedicated hiking trails. Once we finish our big yaw rotation, we'll end up with a very nice view of the entire Never Summer Range. Mount Cumulus is green center. That's Howard Mountain's green center. Followed by Mount Cirrus. and then Lead Mountain with its snow caps on its east side. Then TP Mountain comes in from screen left. Next we pan around towards the east and Mount Reichthofen comes into view with Static Peak to its left. Finally, at the north end of the range, we come to the Nuku Crags. Mount Muller is green right. No mountain in this range can quite muster 13,000 feet. The beautiful cirque you see in front of you is actually inside Colorado State Forest, and that's Lake Agnes at its center. You can drive your two-wheel drive car up a passable road to a parking area not far from the lake and just hike the rest of the way. You can see the parking circle coming into view right now at screen bottom. You can consult with the included park map to see how to get there. At this point, I'll take you on a big loop around the part of the database that contains the rest of the Colorado State Forest, as well as a section of the Medicine Bow Range, which is coming into view screen right. The road you see there is State Road 14. It leads